Hi, and welcome back to my channel, UI Path with Yebe. Today, we're looking at an addition to one of the most used activities, I think, in the entire toolbox. That is the if activity. And what they've added to it is something called the condition builder. So let's have a look at that. But before we do, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I put out new videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell. Those two things would really help my channel and enable me to spend a little bit more time putting out new content for you guys. So make sure you do that. And if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. But let's get to it. So I'm inside Studio and I have an almost empty project. There's a sequence here. And then if we go to the variables pane, we can see we have one variable called str underscore first name. That is a string type variable with a default value of Yebe. And we also have an argument that is called in underscore age. It's an incoming argument of type int 32. And it has a default value of 25. Now, if we drag an if activity into our sequence here, we see the if activity as it looks uh, as of uh, January 5th, 2023. It has changed a bit over the years, but uh, this is what it looks like now. So you have the condition at the top, then you have the then section, and that's what's executed if that condition evaluates to true. Otherwise, if it evaluates to false, then this block down here is executed. So if we um, add a couple of message boxes to the then and else blocks, and we just say condition was met, and we can copy and paste that to the other message box and say it was not met. So these are the two message boxes that will be shown based on how the condition up here evaluates. So traditionally, you would simply write an expression up here. You could either write it right here uh, by writing something like uh, in age is less or greater than, in this case, uh, 20. And that would, in our case, because the uh, variable has a default value of 25, evaluate to true, and that would then display this message box. That is how you would usually write it. You could also go into the advanced editor and write it in here, and then you would have just a little bit more room to maneuver in. So what's new is they've added this thing called a condition builder. So if I just delete this condition again, and then click over here on this little icon, the condition builder opens. And basically what we can do here is we can write in the name of our variable, And we can write 20 in the other text field that indicates that the value should be greater than 20. And if we now save the condition, we'll see exactly what I wrote in here manually before. But when you're building more complex conditions, then the condition builder can actually be quite helpful. So, for example, if I want to add another condition, you'll see something that pops up here at the top that uh, defines whether one of the conditions should be met. That would be an OR statement. Or if all of the conditions should be met. That would be an AND statement. So if we say that we actually want both of the conditions to be met, we want the in age to be greater than 20, and also we want the um, first name to be equal to, yeah, but, and then save the condition, we can see that it actually builds that slightly more complex condition in here. Now, this would evaluate to true because, well, the in age is above 20 and the string first name is actually Yebe. So this would evaluate to true. If we change this by going into the condition builder and say we want it to be above 30 and we also want the first name to be, instead of Yebe, to be Joe, this would evaluate to false, basically because both of these subconditions would evaluate to false. So what if we wanted both of these to be either true or some other condition to be met? Well, if we go into the condition builder, we cannot add another condition that would be an OR condition. So we can only add conditions that share the same operator, being the AND or OR operator. So that's no good, really. But what we can do is we can copy this entire condition. And in fact, I'll cut it and then go into the condition builder. And we'll see now the condition builder is empty. Then I can paste in this entire condition. I'll just put it in parentheses and then say that this should be true. And then we can add an OR condition. And we can just say that the first name should be Yebe. So now if we save it, 
we can see that it's actually written a slightly more complex condition that either the age should be above 30 and the first name should be Joe, those two together, or the first name should be Yebe. So in this case, it actually should evaluate to true. So even though the condition builder does have a few shortcomings, you can use these little tricks by copying and pasting existing conditions into the condition builder and then adding subsequent conditions to your master condition, if we call it that. Another thing you can do is you can actually click in here. Let's say we wanted to add another condition. We could actually click here on this little plus sign and then use a variable. And the, the term variable is slightly misleading because it does show both variables and also arguments, and they are denoted by a V or an A here. So both the str underscore first name variable and the in underscore age argument are shown inside of this use variable option. So I just click this and it's inserted into the box here, and then uh, we can type in whatever criteria we want to, to be evaluated. One last thing, if we save this and then opt to go into the advanced editor, we can again see the entire statement here. And also in here, we can use the variables and arguments that are in scope um, for easy access to them. So let's just cancel out. And that was actually my little take on the condition builder. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you uh, hit the notification bell and all of that. And make sure you also check out these two other videos I made recently. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.